Yo, you guys, it's your boy Toy Time King, and it's been a while since the last video, but I have a guest with me today. We've got Oathkeeper today. Hello. And yeah, we're gonna be talking about PU Alpha because it's pretty much almost the end of the month, and uh, beta will be coming out soon. So we will be delivering our thoughts on uh, our opinions on PU Alpha, good mons, and whatnot. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more PU content. But yeah, Oathkeeper, what are we gonna talk about first? Well, um, I definitely think we should, you know, give like a, a, you know, a shout out to the winner of the uh, first tour for uh, Gen APU, and that is Skip Cam. He won the uh, No Johns tour. So, you know, congrats to you. Good, sir. Yeah, congrats to Skip Cam for winning the P Alpha tour. I think I lost in like round two. <laughs> <laughs> yep, right after you uh, booted me out in round uh -oh. one. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry <laughs> so just about that. <laughs> just just for my opinion. Um, uh. <laughs> so, but uh, anyway, uh, we will yeah definitely go over some of the more popular um, mons going on right, uh, going through right now. Like, uh, let's see, we got Mawile, we got Ninjas, we got Arctivish, we got Throw. We got uh, Grapple Locked. We got, I think, Sil Valley Ground is actually the uh, one of the more popular Sil Valleys going right now. Yeah, uh, given... in PU Alpha Tour, apparently the usage stats, uh, Sil Valley Ground was the most used one, which I'm actually shocked about. But if we look at this one quick, uh, obviously it's a Sil Valley form, so it's automatically good. But what makes this form better than some of the other ones is obviously the ground typing and ground coverage is pretty nice. Especially with 120 base power multi attack, which got buffed this generation, which was very nice for Silver Valley forms, don't you think? Uh, y yeah, I mean, considering that it, multi attack was uh, debuted last gen and with only a base 90, yeah, this was a huge buff. Um, some would definitely consider it broken, um, but it I wouldn't call it broken, but definitely, you know, just it. Just overall, a really nice buff. Um, yeah, it, it was appreciated and, because of the Swords Dance uh, thing as well. Like it has Swords Dance. Right. right, and you'll and you'll see this with like pretty much any Soul Valley form going out there right now. It's you're gonna see you know SD setup sweeper forms of this going on a lot compared to like special attacking forms. Yeah, definitely. So if we're looking at Swords Dance Silver the Ground, and this SD is not the only set. People have been running defensive and whatnot, but looking at the SD set, we got Swords Dance Multi Attack, obviously for stab, Rock Slide because Edge Quake coverage is unresisted in the tier, and I don't even know what to run as the last move. To be fair, what do you actually run? <laughs> uh, well, like a, uh, I'd say one of the uh, better moves you could use is a U turn for pivot or parting shot for the same reason. Um, let's see, you could, oh gosh. Flame I charge know... even, flame charge, because you, you oh. already have perfect coverage already. Right, so yeah, you can, um, yeah, flame charge will allow you to outspeed, you know, you know, unboot, uh, un, or excuse me, non-scarfed, uh, base 95s and all that. So yeah, flame charge definitely will, you know, give it a, give it a leg up. Yeah, and then in terms of the other sets that I've seen, like, to be honest, I've only been using SD Silver Valley sets. I haven't used, like, defensive one. Offensive Silver Valley is just so good, but people, like, obviously, since Pokemon Home came out, Toxic Distribution got better, so it can do Defog, Toxic, Multi Attack, I guess, and, uh, no, but, like, where's the parting shot gonna go, to be honest? Like, I'm trying to think of a move set. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I mean, I mean, yeah. Toxic spam is nice. Steve has a control is nice. You're, you got your stab, your strong stab, and then you got. I mean, having a pivot certainly wouldn't hurt. Yeah. On this. But I'm just like ground stab. Obviously, flying types. You're like they're immune, so you're missing out we, on we, some. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. You could throw rock slide in there if you wanted to. You could throw ice beam in there if you wanted to. Um, What's ice beam but, in? Yeah, um, the flying types, I guess. But Rock Slide does the same. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. You got stuff like yeah, Ninja Ask and Noctowl that can avoid the multi attack, but um, Rock Slide definitely hits both of them better than an Ice Beam would. 
So. And then I'm seeing an EV spread for some Silver Valley forms. You have enough speed for Stone Jorna. So I think it was... Uh, what was the speed creep again? It was to get 262. I'm, I'm messing around like, with EVs for a second. 148, yeah, it was 148. Then, right, yeah, because J uh, Jolly St uh, Stone Journer hits 262. Yeah, and then the rest in like either defense or special defense. Uh, right. And then let's just do physical. Then. Uh, nature impish, yeah, so that would be like a common silver the EV spread. So, yeah, that's ground value for you and. Like, there's a lot of soul value forms to talk about, but the next one I actually wanted to talk about was Arctivish. And what's your thoughts on Arctivish with Keeper? Uh, uh, well, one thing that comes to mind is um, you need to hit this thing first because if you do not, uh, it's gonna make you pay because uh, it's I don't want to call it its unique move, but definitely a, a unique move to it and. Uh, Another one of its, you know, fossil counterparts uh, in Fishius Wren. Uh, if it's if it's gonna go first, uh, its powers doubled, basically turning it from a 85 power into a 170 power move, and that's not even counting in stab. So, um, if unless you got like a water absorb on, like you know your your own Arctivish or a Lapras, yeah, fi uh, this thing is gonna rip you to shreds. Yeah, the like, Artivish is probably one of the scariest wall breakers right now. And I'm not gonna lie, you can agree or disagree with me, but I think Choice Scarf is the best Artivish set right now. Like I, I love Choice Scarf, it's a very good late game. Very, very good. Yeah, there yeah, Choice Scarf definitely, in my opinion, best set. Uh if you want to go for the wall breaker set, you can go choice band. But um, the one thing that would make me hesitate is get uh it's ice typing, so it's you know, um Weak to Stealth Rock, and it's, uh, I mean, it's only hitting 229, and that's if it's a jolly nature, so um, de you definitely want to keep it, I mean, if you're going to bring it in to hit something hard, you know, you're going to want to, I mean, you, you're going to want to make sure you outspeed it first, or else Fishius Rand is only, it's not as powerful as it could be. Yeah, and the thing is about Artivish, like, I do say Scarf is the best set, but if you go Jolly Scarf, you're slower than, you're faster than base 105 Pokemon, I believe. Like, you reach uh, 343 speed, which outspeeds Maynetric, like, Choice Specs Maynetric, Silver Valley forms, but doesn't outspeed Swoobat, which is very annoying because Swoobat is an annoying one to deal with, especially if you're using Arctivish as your somewhat uh, speed control. Mm hmm. I agree. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, I think uh, Swoobat hits uh, 360. No, I, I actually I forget the exact speed. I, I think I think it's 366 or three, no 359. I think yeah. Oh, yeah, and I think um, I think the calc that I have for uh, Scarf Arctivish, I think it's like 343. Yeah. And yeah, with the Scarf, so that's. But uh, yeah, like you said, it, it'll outspeed uh, Specs Manectric, it'll outspeed Silvalli Forms. So, um, if that's the case, you would have to have another answer for Swoobat on your team. Yeah, probably Ninjask or something. Like, Ninjask is easy to fit on. But, yeah. yeah. And in terms of the moveset for Arctivish, you have Fishius Rend, obviously. You have Icicle Crash, Dual Stab. And then, people are running uh, Freeze Dry for ones like... Uh, Lidicolo, Palpa Toad, because that's one of the better answers for Artivish to an extent, and then Stone Edge for Lapras and stuff. Basically, you have your last two moves are for the water immunities in the tier, so you don't get shut down that easily. Correct, yeah, Stone Edge, yeah, so Stone Edge, yeah, like you said, will hit Lapras and um, opposing Artivish, so that you're not, you know, completely, you know, walled. Yeah. And that's it for Artivish, really. Like the Choice Scarf set, Banded. People are running Sub Assault Vest. Like this one has a uh, pretty good set. So yeah, it's definitely one of the tier defining Pokemon, P Alpha. Yeah, absolutely. So next, what do I want to talk? Like before I go back to Silver Leaf forms, because there's a lot to like talk about. Because they're mostly all decent Pokemon, to be honest. But uh. Obviously, we have to bring up Swoobat. Like, if we want to talk about some of the best mons in P Alpha, Swoobat has to be there. And yeah, the addition of Heavy Duty Boots, I'd say, helps Swoobat a lot because it's a flying type, it's weak to rocks, and uh, Heavy Duty Boots nullifies that. And obviously, simple, nasty plot is a very scary, you know, combination. Very, very scary. 
<laughs> yeah, now, uh, <clears throat> yeah, before uh, Gen 8, yeah, Calm Mind was its uh, boosting move of choice, but yeah, it just got Nasty Plot this gen, so uh, that definitely helped it out, given that it's um, using stored power a lot. Um, it's That just makes it more powerful. Um, but yeah, Heavy Duty Boots, clearly, clearly not a broken item this gen at all. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but um yeah swoobat's definitely dangerous not gonna uh not gonna argue that um nasty plot and then you got your stored power of course and then you got um i guess i would technically run heat wave yeah that's what i'm thinking what people are saying that if you're at plus six it doesn't really like heat wave isn't really that bad and we don't have that many steals that uh but well, it's just a way of hitting dark types because we still have ones like pornia dark valley iPad feeble so i mean you need another move that isn't a psychic move then right and, and, and if you choose to uh forego heat if you absolutely have to forego heat wave you can go stab air slash if you need to to uh you know like you said hit dark valley yeah and are you running roost on the last slot you think yes c correct um you know just to catch those you know would be sucker punchers off guard yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good one, it's a good one. And then, like, apart from the fact that it has simple nasty plot, so it gets the plus four in one turn, it's like one of the fastest Pokemon in the tier, just under the likes of uh, Persian and Ninjas. Because if you really deep it, the speed tiers in PU are Ninjas at the top, Persian Subat, you have the base 105s, base 95s, and then everything else <laughs> is below them. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, so yeah, so the speed creep in PU right now is not very strong in my opinion. Yeah, like the tier has definitely slowed down from Gen Seven to Gen Eight. Like the likes of Silver Valley forms are would uh, consider them pretty fast in the tier, and yeah, so Subat takes advantage of that, and obviously things like Scarf Artivish, which is generally slow, like Subat can outspeed certain Scarfers. I think only up to Artivish, I don't know any other Scarfers that are slower than uh, Swoobat, but yeah, Swoobat is very fast. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, <clears throat> that, that's why I'm hesitant to use Raichu, because like, Raichu's in, and then Swoobat kind of just beats it down. Like, if it has that Calm Mind, for example, like it's, it's very sad. It's very sad. Yeah, because yeah, it's like, given that someone brings in that one random Scarf Raichu, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's, an unset, that's an unset scarf right she's trash <laughs> <laughs> agreed agreed yeah you always, you always use nasty ply right you <clears throat> yeah even even then like can, can we like discuss the right versus main quickly before i talk about one of the more influential pokemon but right versus main who, who do you think's better Oh man. Well, you know, I I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like both of them. Um, but if I mean Raichu's got access to stuff that can beat, you know, its switch ends. Uh it's got grass knot, it's got surf. Uh since hidden power was removed to this gen, which is terribly unfortunate for, you know, a lot of, you know, special attackers. Um, Manectric doesn't really get a whole lot of, you know, coverage for you know, ground type switch ins. I mean, the, it's like the best it's got is overheat, and that hits ground types uh, neutrally. Um, but yeah, Raichu's got uh, Surf and Grass Knot, which can, um, <laughs> excuse me, can hit, um, you know, stuff like Trap Inch, Silver Valley Ground, um, and it's Manectric is at most, I mean, it's got overheat. Sure, it's got Hyper Voice. Sure, it's got. Um, I mean, it's it's move pool is just like Barrett. garbage. Barrett, it's it's yes. bar it's, bar it's barren. It's garbage. I'm so you're never running hyper voice because switch ruse. Like the thing that Manetric has, like choice Manetric has over choice right. She's obviously switch ruse to punish defensive mons, so like they can't really do their job properly. But that like, overheat. Like, Raichu does have the better coverage, I, I won't deny that, but Overheat is a generally strong move, and like it can actually beat Grass types, which resist your stab, while Raichu kind of has to rely on uh, Focus Miss, which is Focus Miss, so like, it's <laughs> not that it's, reliable. It, we, call, we call it Focus Miss for a reason. Yeah, 70% accuracy is a bit poor, but my final verdict on main versus Raichu, Specs main, I prefer it over like Nasty Pot or Raichu, but... Like, people think Mainetric is good roll compression with Scarf, but Scarf is so bad. Like, I hate the set. 
I only use it to help speed through, but that's the only thing I use Scarf Mainet trick for. Other than that, like there's too many Silver Valley Grounders everywhere. Like other people are using Main and Right too. Like it's very hard to just use Volt Switch, so I don't really think Scarf is that good. Right, yeah, because I'm because I plus two uh, Raichu can I'm sure uh, one hit KO uh, Savalia Ground with Surf. Uh, either, yeah, with either Surf or Grass Knot, but yeah, Surf is yeah more likely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Manectric can at most dent you know Ground types. Yeah, it's a shame that Hidden Power was removed because Manectric would have less issues with like ones like Powerful Toad or. Any other of those mons that like just check it quite easily, but yeah. Ooh, next mon, next mon, uh, Trapinch. That's that's the next mon I want to talk about. The freaking abomination we have in this. The, yes, this annoying little turtle. Yes. <laughs> I think a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a freaking turtle. That's how <laughs> I see it. That's I'm calling it like it is. Oh my days, but yeah, you guys know Arena Trap broken ability. It will be gone soon, but. While we still have a couple more days of alpha, we got uh, discussed this Pokemon because it's one of the most influential ones right now. But yeah, Arena Trap, it traps your opponents and uh, the thing that pushes Trapinch over the edge this generation, I think, like just made it more of a threat was uh, First Impression, which is a plus two priority move, so has higher priority than Quick Attack and Fake Out. Or does it? I don't know about Faker, but Quick Attack. But yeah, you trap a Bug Beat Mon and they're automatically dead. Like I don't think it's fair, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, and uh, to answer your question, uh, Fake Out has a plus three priority. Oh, oh plus three. <laughs> uh, so yeah, fake, so <laughs> fake Out would, you know, be better to stop Trap Bench from the first impression. Um, so... The yeah, definitely first impression definitely helps out here because one of the, uh, at least in my opinion, one of the the nicer mons is uh, Ludicolo, and um, first impression would just wipe it out completely. Um, yeah, and it's a shame it's, because people are actually running the bug resistant uh, berry, which is uh, Tanga berry, to kind of somewhat live the first impression from full health and then. Oko to pinch back with Giga Drain, but like you need to be running Life Orb on Ludicolo to have maximum damage output, but you can't because this turtle, as you say, is in the way. Right, and yeah, and yeah, I mean, you got your you got your EQ, you got your Rock Slide for stuff like uh, Ninja Ask, and then you got, and then a lot of the time I'm seeing Quick Attack being used just to you know get that last little bit of chip on whatever. You know whatever it may have you know brought down to low health yeah and like to address like certain people that are saying trip is broken it's not like trip pinch is broken it's more the fact that trapping is uh the dumbest mechanic or one of the most dumbest mechanics in pokemon the it pushes trip pinch over the edge because look at his stats it's a little cop mon yet it's yeah. one of the best ones in pu that uh, is it, i've always found it weird yeah it's it's yeah attack is cl easily it's best stat and everything else is underwhelming I mean, you know, yeah me me mediocre would be too nice to be honest i mean the rest of its stats are garbage so the fact that it's you know as relevant as uh, as relevant as it is right now is because of arena trap yeah and and ou is currently suspect testing that right now and guaranteed i can guarantee you right now that's going to get banned and it's, it's definitely getting banned and, and 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 once it is, trap bench becomes irrelevant. But the thing is, like you have to realize, when beta starts, trap bench will actually be PU by usage. Like that's the sad thing. It will be PU that by is, usage. That's that's extremely sad. Absolutely sad. Oh yes. my days. But yeah, when yeah. arena trap gets banned, whenever, well, trap bench is gonna fall off heavily, heavily. But yeah, this one is definitely on people's radars and it has been since day one of P Alpha. Even in speculation matter, like this was already a problem. So, yeah. uh, any other Pokemon that are kind of meta defining right now that we need to address or more like underrated picks that we should start uh, talking about now? Um, well, I was, well, as soon as you said underrated, I was going to say. Definitely not Ninjask. Ninjask is really common. Oh yeah, um, let's actually speak about Ninjask quickly because that's another mon that people are kind of worried about to an extent. Sure. I would say because... Um, yeah, I was, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, because I previously mentioned Heavy Duty Boots, clearly 
not being broken. Um, this is, yeah, a bug flying type having boots on definitely helped it out this gen. Um, and the fact that it can, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's a pivot, it's frail as hell, but you know, it's, it's got two nice abilities and it, it's fast, naturally fast. And I mean, there's only so few mons that can come in on this thing. I don't know. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's definitely one of the better mons going right now. Yeah, because it just most of the time Ninjask is even in. It comes in and it just U turns it, and it doesn't lose any health uh, to like Stealth Rocks. Because again, Heavy Duty Boots being like the best item in the game for mons like Ninjask, and also the fact that people are even saying non Heavy Duty Boots with uh, SD Acrobatics is a problematic set because it doesn't really have too many switch ins to be fair, and. The fact that uh, if it faces something that resists, like flying, for example, like Stone Jonah, you can just U-turn out against it, and then just that like, gets to escape for free, which is very like you know powerful. Like Ninjask has a lot of you know benefits with its speed and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like you just said, without yeah, no item acrobatics. Um, I mean, that's that's just gonna like hit hard. I mean, you'll I mean you see from the move list, it's power doubles if there's no item so 55 goes up to 110 and that's not even factoring in stab yeah, so yeah. And i think that boosts, i think that boosts it up to 160 165 yeah 165, base power yeah and that, that i mean that's i mean i know this is gen 8 but that's like the equivalent of a z move from <laughs> last gen so <laughs> so i mean you're and you're and you can use it what what acrobatics up to twenty four times. So the spammable move, very it's spammable. a spam very spammable, yeah. And like I said, there's like so few switch ins. I mean, you got like um, we're you looking got, at our flying oh. resists, which are basically rock types and more wow, for example. Uh, we got we got the electric types, well. None of them want to be switching in P Pikachu, which is actually getting decent usage. Probably you could. Uh, Mainetric is too accurate, like Lunatone, Soul Rock, weak to bug. The only thing that's problematic for it is Mowile and Stone Jona, but again, you just U turn out against them and Ninjask is free, pretty much. Right, yeah, and you'll notice, like, uh, yeah, Lunatone, uh, Mainetric, Soul Rock, Sudowoodo, Stone Journer. I mean, since flying, I mean, yeah, acrobatics won't hit these things really well, but I mean, Leech Life or U turn. Will that's that's yeah, what that's they, the problem. They, that's, that's the problem, right? The only one that resists its dual stab is, of course, Mowile. And Mowile have started running like Rocky Helmet to alleviate and then just just spamming U turn, but uh, like that just leaves Mowile without recovery. So you can see the power and then just it's having on the meta right now because it really is a powerful mon. It's uh, yeah, that's... really high speed and decent uh, attacking stats, but yeah, yeah that's... underrated mons time. Uh, Hmm. Do you have a mon we could talk about? Um, do you want to put throw out there? Maybe throw. Like I wouldn't say throw is underrated. I think people know throw's capabilities because, like, looking at our list of fighting types, we don't have a lot. We don't have a lot, and throw is one of the best ones for obvious reasons. It's pretty bulky. Uh, Flame of Guts, I'm actually be seeing more of this set, which is a pretty decent wall breaker because it's bulky, has good coverage. Uh, still didn't get Drain Punch this gen, but uh, Superpower of Storm Throw is good enough. And uh, Yeah, yeah g given that Storm Throw is always a crit, absolutely. Yeah, Storm Throw is easily its best move. And then P-Jab and uh, Knock Off, I guess. Yeah, and you're set. This is your Flame of Guts Throw, and it's doing a lot of damage, and it doesn't die quickly. So, yeah, I, I don't think Throw is too underrated, because it's one of our better fighting types. Better than, I think it's better than Grab Locks. Like, people will compare the two, but I think Throw is a bit better, because it's bulky and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one Mon that I was kind of not seeing a lot, I guess I could probably throw it out there, is uh, Basculin. Basculin. Well, there's a reason why Basculin isn't really getting that much <laughs> usage. The huge reason is it starts with an A and ends in H. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, okay, that's that's fair enough. N- not to say uh, masculine is a terrible mon. Like it's not too bad. Like if you look at it, like on paper, it's not too bad. But it faces a lot of competition with Artivish because Artivish just breaks better than Basculin does. Breaks really hard and can actually beat his checks more reliably than Basculin can. Like sure, Ice Beam can get like catch out Gore guys, but again, Artivish has stab. Icicle Crash or even Freeze Dry, which does a whole lot more damage than Basculin's Ice Beam. Yeah, agreed. So, I mean, definitely wanted to give it a mention, but yeah, Arctivish definitely outclasses it. Yeah, um, I, I, I have no idea if this will be P by usage, but it's not a, it's not a bad mon, it's just that Arctivish is just more desirable right now. Right. For a lot of reasons. Uh, Let me think of that. Like, there was a mod, Shinotic. Yeah. This is what I wanted to talk about, Shinotic. No uh, one is using uh, this. Uh, well, um, I would definitely have to go, yeah, d- uh, defensive with Lefty yeah. and Fix Four. I'm going Fizz Def uh, Shinotic because, again, Shinotic, you're a water check, so you can handle Artivish a bit well, even though it's like more pro- uh, prediction game with Ice Stab. But either way, it stops Artivish from spamming uh, Fishius Rend. Uh, is a fighting check, so throw. Albeit it has poison jab, but like it's still a fighting <laughs> check on paper. Uh, Spore is one of the only reasons they're using this because sleeping stuff is just very strong. Strength sap again, broken move, and Moonblast actually hits decently strong without any investment because base ninety special attack is not too shabby on a defensive mon. And uh, what else are we running on this? Uh, uh you could. Go uh, dual stab with Giga Drain. You could go, um, you could go toxic. You could go. I, d- I mean, I don't want to say. Well, well, you could go Leech Seed. You could go um, Leech Seed. You could, but I, I think I prefer Giga Drain. That's why I've been running. Yeah, I mean, you're already getting s- Strength Stab plus Giga Drain. You're already getting recovery. Yeah. You know? Well, we'll leave so, the leech seed to uh, Velocity. Wait, does Velocity even leech seed? Like, what leech seed does do we have? <laughs> I, I uh, honestly, I don't think it does. Uh, I don't think it does. Maybe, nah, maybe, Trevenant, maybe. Trevenant. That's what I was thinking of. Trevenant and Gorgon oh, star. Oh, the leech seeders. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. This, uh, I think that's part of the sub seed set. Yeah, yeah. Do sets. Yeah. <clears throat> and the last uh, underrated one I wanted to talk about. Uh, hmm. It, is it is losing in my head like i've forgotten what it was what is it if i look at the bonds uh, list again <laughs> uh, <laughs> um what about no, no. I, 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 was I was gonna say, say greedent on trick room <laughs> like this is this is self advertising for trick room but greedent is a very interesting one because it gets belly drum and it has cheap pouch and look at this massive HP stat. So when you use Belly Drum, you're basically back at full health. And I've been using this on Trick Room because it's fun. This is a fun one. <laughs> this, this, this is this is this is a very thick squirrel. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Doesn't die that easily. But yeah, okay, yeah. In 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 its defense, I have seen it take, you know, fighting moves and eat them up and fight right back, like like you wouldn't believe. You know, I mean, this it's got so much bulk, it's ridiculous. Yeah, because of the 120 HP stat, is very, very bulky. Yeah. The only problem I have with Greedent, if it was faster, it would actually be, like, more, like, seen. But 20 base speed is just awful, man. Very bad. Yeah. It's, it's pathetic, but it's... But, I mean, it, somehow it still manages to find a way to do it. Yeah. Uh, on Trick Room only. I'm not using it outside of Trick Room. Like, there's no point. <laughs> I'd rather use normal Silver Valley as like a normal type. Right. But yeah, gr- yeah, Greedent's one of yeah. It's it's quietly s- sneakily, you know, nice. It, it can it can work if you get the matchup. Belly Drum will just eat teams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beware the body slam. Yeah. Uh, and then, wasn't there... I mean, could you technically throw Ludicolo in there? I could throw Ludicolo in there, but I think people already know that Ludicolo is actually good. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, did the of... same, it does the same thing it did last gen. Rain Dance, Hydro Pump. It, it, yeah, it's always been doing the same thing. Yeah. It's got a, it's got a nice move pool, to be honest. But, yeah, it's... Um, 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, like you said, Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Giga Drain, Ice Beam. Yeah. And then the last, last one I wanted to talk about, Glaceon, because... I was using Glaceon in a spec a speculation meta and choice specs was very very good for me because it got freeze dry this generation so the combination of ice beam and freeze dry is very hard to switch into this pokemon and even though the evolutions have awful you know coverage options like Jolteon I'm hoping Jolteon drops from NU but I don't think so but either way Shadow Ball and uh Water Pulse, I think people are running that for car call, for example. But yeah, this one is a threat, is underrated, definitely. I think Specs Glaceon is underrated. Yeah, the uh, yeah, Choice Specs easily it's, uh, its best item, um, but not too far behind it would be um, uh, the Heavy Duty Boots, which again, I will sound like a broken record, is definitely not broken. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that was something it didn't have, you know, before this gen, and it. I mean, it tr you just can't pass up on the specs damage, though. And like you said, freeze dry being new to it this gen. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, freeze dry. It's you're basically putting your. I mean, it's it's all mind games at that point. So it's like, hey, do you want to bring in your water? And, you know, it's it's you pretty much got to decide. Yeah, and it's moved garbage, and I would know working on its um, gen seven analysis is. Uh, analysis in ZU, and yeah, it does. In I'm resorting to a hidden power over water pulse, but no big deal. Yeah, uh, and I think the lack of good ice resist, like more wow, is good to it killed. I mean, Karko gets hit by water pulse, clang. I mean, steel types are probably more problematic, but again, more wow's special defense that makes it not a good check, and clang isn't that common. So, I mean. Ice is pretty spammable, but yeah, Specs Glacial, I think you guys should experiment with that. But yeah, I think this is a good time to end up the video with Keeper. So thank you for discussing P Alpha with me. I highly appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Glenn. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave that down below. Uh Oathkeeper might, you know, be on the channel, you know, more often, you know, if he's available, because I would like to do a ladder and like stuff would be calm. Well, I, th I think that'll be uh, a definite yes, given that uh, our world is in a, you know, coronavirus situation. Yeah. And we're going to be spending more time here at home. So, yeah, I would say count on it. And and just to end up this video, guys, be safe of COVID-19. Uh, if you think anyone has it, self-isolate. Just, you know, be careful. They're, they're shutting down everything across the world. So, I mean, it's bad for, like, you know, education and jobs, but... <laughs> If you look at the bright side, I can make daily videos properly. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, more content will be coming, guys. So, I thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.